Hey heroes, Isaac Zephyr here. And when we last left off, our boyfriend had amnesia. Anyway, the reception for this series wasn't terrible. So as a result, there's a second episode. This experiment is kind of working. So we have Eddie Rayner and me. Whew. All right. From what we can tell, Aaron is suffering from amnesia. He still retains long-term memories, but recent ones from the past few years are hazy or non-existent. He's quite a bit confused at the moment, so we want to be sure not to cause him any unnecessary emotional stress. We need him to regain his memory on his own, but it will be in slow steps. I, I, I see. This is my studio. I know this is a lot to take in, so please feel free to ask me any questions you might have. He still remembers his family, but he doesn't seem to recall anything from recent years. You mean he doesn't remember me? Oh, and drop the credits. We're in. I'm sorry. We asked him about having a girlfriend, but he doesn't seem to remember anyone by the name of Amy. I felt the tears I'd been determined not to cry welling up again, ready to fall. I... I see. We walked through the door or doorway and into a room with a glass window that let me see into Aaron's room. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but since we don't want to cause him any grief or aggressive, aggravate his condition, I must ask that you do not meet with him yet. He's very confused and needs rest. I understand. I remained there for a long time, watching him and letting tears silently slip down my cheeks as two nurses spoke to Aaron, who wore a perplexed expression. How could you forget all about me? All right, so I can move between locations using the map. Right now, I can only return back to my home, but later in the game, I'll be able to move where I want. Okay. All right, so where, what do we got here? We got uh, tr 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 the ice cream parlor that pays for my studies, uh, my home, various apartment buildings that I can't go to, uh, boop, a luxurious restaurant renowned in the whole town. Ooh. The hospital where Aaron is resting. A trendy disco pub where I can dance, eat, and drink. Ooh. Uh, the gym. The town's gym. It's expensive, but has lots of training equipment, including a pool. I'm assuming that's what my, uh, my statistics here. Uh, town's library in one of my favorite places. And I'm assuming that's the mall. Ooh, hey. Uh, the town's biggest park. Damn, we got a lot of places we can go. Uh, I live with my Aunt Gwenda and Cat Nina. Oh man, I have a cat. I was released from the hospital in the morning and came right home. When I walked inside, I was greeted with a soft meow. Then my cat Nina brushed up against my leg. Hi Nina, did you miss me? I smiled and reached down to pet her affectionately, though I couldn't help but remember how Aaron would always fuss over her. Nina was a great judge of character, and she adored Aaron, even before he started bringing treats for her all the time. Oh, there's my cat. Aaron always loved cats so much. He loved big cats and little cats like you. But you were always his favorite, Kitty. Nina cuddled my fingers affectionately when I knelt down to pick her up. But Aaron's probably forgotten about you, too. The sadness I had been trying to keep out of the front of my mind returned as I pulled my cat into an embrace and sighed. I had slept very poorly and the fatigue from the crash hadn't worn off. I lost my parents in a car accident and now it looks like I'm going to lose the man I love to one as well. I sat in the living room with Nina on my lap when Gwenda came to comfort me. Oh, Amy, what happened? I briefly tell her about the accident. She was overjoyed to know that I was all right and that I had already been <laughs> I had hardly been hurt. Oh, thank God you're okay. But why didn't you call me? The doctor said I was all right and I didn't want you to worry about me. I had been staying with my Aunt Gwenda for several years, since my parents passed away when I was still young. Gwenda had taken care of me ever since. She's a kind woman, and I greatly appreciate how caring she's always been to me. However, her pension wasn't enough to fully pay for my college tuition, which is why I took the part-time job at the ice cream parlor. You can now make your first choice. Several icons will pop up, showing all the possible actions in this location. <laughs> Uh, on each icon, you'll see a brief description of the effects of the action. Each choice consumes at least one turn of in-game time. Some actions are available only during certain periods of the day. For example, Aunt Gwenda goes to bed very early, so you won't find her hanging around at late hours. It's now noon, so a good thing you could be... Or a good thing to do could be to eat something. 
Or you can just relax and read a book. Uh, okay, so cost ten dollars and up. Ah, uh, oh, that's cooking something. All right, so I have actions that have a failure rate or a success rate. Oh damn. Well, I got like no morale. I could talk with Grandma. I mean, Aunt Grandma. I mean, <laughs> Aunt Gwenda. I could read an old book. Uh, but my energy would go down. And if I eat, morale down, no change, energy up. Okay, so I could fail to cook. Ah, jeez. You know what? I'm, I'm not feeling very hungry. And... Uh, you know what? I, I want to talk with, with Gwenda some more. Just It seems the lowest risk. Yes, my dear? What's troubling you? Aaron doesn't remember me at all. And the doctors say they don't want to give him too much stress since it might make him forget more or make it harder for him to remember what he's forgotten. Honey, I'm sure he'll remember you soon enough. You're the love of his life. The two of you were so close, the cutest little lovebirds in town. <laughs> it's just the past few years that he's forgotten, though. What if, what if he doesn't recover? Then you'll just make him love you again. R r really? You, you think that would work? I'm so afraid that we might never be together again. We have so many precious memories, and I think that he doesn't remember anything. Couldn't help but shudder at the thought. You'll be able to do it. In the absolute worst case scenario, you'll just have to start off from square one again. Even if his mind doesn't recall the memories you share, his heart will still love you. Not even amnesia can erase that. <laughs> You're right. Thank you, Auntie. I feel a bit better now. Of course, that's what family is for. Yes! Woo! We did it! We got eight morale. Look at that amazing image. After talking with Gwenda, I feel better. Sometimes you just need to open up with someone who cares about you. That's the worst picture of Gwenda. <laughs> All right. So we could watch TV. Talk more with Gwenda. Or cook something. Do we have a hungry? Um. Hmm. I didn't see- none of my stats went up. Ah. I could get morale and energy. I don't seem to need those. You know what? Let, let's try cooking. Cooking cannot go as horribly as I imagine it would. Woo! I spent some time cooking, trying a new recipe, and the result was excellent. I made a sandwich. Look at that sandwich. It's an amazing sandwich. So I got creativity, some morale. I lost- $14! All right, well. But I got some energy, because my sandwich was delicious. Amy, I've prepared your favorite cake. Thanks, Gwenda, but I'd like to stay alone for a while and rest, okay? I didn't sleep very well at the hospital. I had too much on my mind. And uh, a friend of mine is playing Serious Sam. Hey, that didn't appear on the OBS. Nice. <laughs> That's fine. Get some rest. You can eat a piece of cake tomorrow morning before going to work. Good night, Gwenda. I went to my bedroom with Nina in my arms and sat down at the desk. I picked a notebook up and decided to try and get my feelings under control in the most familiar way I knew, writing about them. I picked up a pen and started writing a poem. Your gentle touch, the warmth of your embrace, the passion of your kiss, precious times, that felt ever so divine. I thought that they would never leave, but even though I can't reach you anymore, I can't open my eyes to find you there, I'll always have my memories. Though they are not as warm as the hands that always made me feel so safe, I know they will never disappear, as you now have, my beloved. My heart is forever yours, even if you're lost, beyond where my troubling voice can reach you. Even if your memories fade or disappear into the darkness, I'll never forget the precious times when we face the world together. My beloved, for today, for tomorrow, for the days that may never return, never forget the words we once exchanged. I love you. When I awoke that morning, I knew that I had to go to the ice cream parlor. It was Sunday, and I had a long shift to attend to. But it says it's Monday. I considered calling out, knowing that they would understand if I explained the situation, but decided that it would be best to go in anyway. Alright, we'll have our work shift 
next time. So, till then, this is Isaac Zephyr, signing out, and I will see you all later, heroes, at my ice cream job. <laughs>